uh, welcome students in this particular video we are going to study the experiment to find the current sensitivity of table galvanometer now table galvanometer is a normal moving coil galvanometer whose current sensitivity we wish to find out when i say that any instrument is sensitive what must happen is that for a very small amount of current flowing through that it should give you more deflection so the deflection has to be as large as possible for the very very small value of current flowing through that and that can be very easily seen by the formula of current sensitivity if i observe a circuit diagram here in this particular case and a formula here i observe that the circuit diagram and above that we have a formula where the formula is current sensitivity s is equal to theta upon i so that theta is in the numerator if it is greater for smaller values of denominator current i the sensitivity of galvanometer will be said to be large so now let's look at the circuit diagram it's a very simple circuit which is consisting of a battery is there there is a variable resistance in the circuit we are going to use instead of this variable resistance or for this variable resistance we will be using a resistance box there is a micro ammeter we have got a 0 to 500 micro ammeter instrument there is a galvanometer whose current sensitivity we have to decide there is a four way key as well here so that four way key and key is required now i just have a look at the apparatus we have got a 2 volt voltage source which is driven by electrical supply instead of this source one can also use this uh, 1.5 volt battery that also can be used instead of this we can also use uh, 1.5 volt uh, normal standard dry cell Uh, right now i am not using this i am using a 2 volt source there is a, a resistance box which is supposed to be of a high value you can see the numbers written on that they are almost up to 5000 no oh, let it be uh, so that is a, a resistance box we have a micro ammeter which is ranging from 0 to 500 this is the galvanometer whose current sensitivity we have to decide and we have a four way key in the circuit and a normal standard key in the circuit to put the circuit on or off now i'll just start making connections here and as i start making connections i'll start from the positive of as i have actually arranged my circuit components as seen in the circuit diagram i have connected the positive to one of the resistance box terminals the next one of resistance box will get connected to a micro ammeter this micro ammeter's next terminal i will have to directly connect it to a four way key straight so this gets connected to a four way key to any one of the four way key terminals you can connect it to the exactly opposite terminal of this four way key must be connected to your next key so this is exactly opposite of this i'll get this connected to a key here and the negative of battery also to the key has to be connected so i will get that connected here now so negative gets connected here to a key the most important part which we have to now connect is this galvanometer and now there are remaining two keys out of the four way key that are to be connected to a galvanometer so i just have one of the galvanometer terminals getting connected to 
वन ऑफ दोज टर्मिनल सीयर ऑफ द फोर वे की एंड द अदर गोइंग टू द अदर पॉइंट ऑफ कैलबोनोमीटर सो दैट इज ऑल इन माई सर्किट कनेक्शन वंस आई हैव मेड ऑल माई सर्किट कनेक्शन विदाउट इंसर्टिंग दिस की ऑन आई हैव राइट नाउ कैप्ट इट ऑफ आई हैव रिमूव दिस की विदाउट कीपिंग दिस की ऑन आई विल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल पुट माई सोर्स ऑन एंड एज आई पुट माई सोर्स ऑन द लाइट्स आर ऑन हियर वेरी फर्स्ट थिंग आई नीड टू डू इज आई हैव टू चूज सम लार्ज वैल्यू ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस फ्रॉम रेजिस्टेंस बॉक्स हियर so that it will control the current in the circuit i would choose around let us say 3000 ohm resistance at least so it is 3000 ohm and then i will insert my key in the circuit and four way keys will be inserted in any two opposite gaps any two and then i find the galvanometer is just going almost out of the scale i need to increase my current in the circuit so maybe i'll choose uh, let us say 500 more ohm now it's 3500 ohm i'll just try to insert the key it's still going just out of the uh, say scale so i'll make it as 4000 2000 and 2000 4000 ohm has been chosen here and now i find that we are almost somewhere in the range of the galvanometer just reaching the end point of the galvanometer and corresponding to this deflection right now i have to observe what is the reading in the microammeter so i find here the reading of the microammeter happens to be somewhere around 410 or 420 Uh, micro ampere and the galvanometer deflection is seen at this position around 28 divisions i just have to now lift this and reverse these two keys so that the current will now start flowing in the opposite direction here and you will find the deflection is on the left hand side in the galvanometer for the same amount of current flowing in this particular case what i simply have to do is now i'll remove everything what i simply have to do is that by choosing different values of resistance from the resistance box now you measure what were the different values of deflections theta 1 and theta 2 ones on the left ones on the right whatever those deflections were for the same value of current flowing through the uh, micro ammeter so for a certain value of current i you have got theta 1 theta 2 and its average mean theta so this is one reading i can change the resistance value rather i would say increase it a bit and then for reduced current i will try to find what is value of theta further increase resistance current will be reduced further i'll find what is value of theta and for each and every case i can try and find out what is the ratio theta or i that will give me what is the current sensitivity of that particular table galvanometer because in case of moving coil galvanometer the relation between theta and i that is a linear relationship the graph of theta taken on y axis against current taken on x axis with the origin chosen as 0 0 will happen to be a straight line the slope of which will exactly be equal to your mean or average value of current sensitivity that we all have found by using your readings actually or by your calculations so that's the most simple experiment that we are going to have in your 12th standard syllabus Uh, thanks for watching this video and uh, there are so many other people our teachers who have helped us a lot making these videos even our laboratory attendants they have helped us uh, so thanks everybody and thank you all for watching this video again